Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Batman, the 1960s television show. If you like, comment, and subscribe my video, that's the best way and a free way to support what I do and allow me to make more videos. I really thank all of you for being so supportive in every single video in your comments. It means so much to me. Now let's talk about Batman. I have a whole playlist on the 1960s Batman television show. I don't know if you watched it as a little kid, but I definitely did, and it was such a fantastic show. It is still fantastic to watch it. There were so many iconic things on the show, both talking about the dynamic duels costumes, looking at the villains, the Batcave, the Batmobile, but this is something that might have stuck out to you while you were watching the show. One of my favorite things in an episode is when the dynamic duo gets the call from Commissioner Gordon that they have to get changed into their costumes. And so they usually make this in one of the secret rooms in the Wayne Mansion. And they go to this room, they're using the red telephone, and there's this Shakespeare bust that they kind of pull his head off. Uh, they they kind of bend it at the hinge, they hit the button, right? And then the magic doors open up. You see the bat poles, they slide down, and they go to the bat cave. Now, I know that a lot of you may wonder about that bust. I definitely did. I always thought that statue was really cool and how Batman had that rigged in his house. I mean, think about this the 1960s right to have something i thought well how did this work did it work electronically were there wires was it just like a magical really expensive thing well i'm going to be here breaking down this wall for you showing behind the scenes what actually happened and how all that was activated and how they did it for filming i think you'll be pleasantly surprised what I would encourage all of you to do down below, let me know in the comments before I get to revealing how this actually worked. Let me know how you think it worked. It's actually pretty cool and I'll give you a couple seconds to do that. You can pause the video if you'd like, but I'm gonna be talking about it here. And here is how it actually worked. Now the Shakespeare bust that was seen in the episodes was used, as I mentioned, to slide open that bookcase, that door, those magical doors that are hidden behind that bookcase. And what does it do? It exposes the bat poles. Now, what they did, they had an electric switch. This is what this was. And again, in the 60s, this is what they did. And that switch wasn't activated by Bruce Wayne in order that the bookcase opened. That's not what the switch did. The switch did one very simple thing. Whenever Adam West would hit the switch, it would turn on a light behind the set. There would be a cast and there would be a crew behind there working behind the scenes that you could not see. And all they had to do whenever they saw that light turn on, that was their cue. That was their cue that they slide open the bookcase. There would be handles there. They would pull that part of the set open and it would open up. So in your mind, you thought that him hitting that button is what caused the bookcase to open. But no, all it did was turn on the light that signaled to the crew that, hey, now it's time. Now it's the cue for you to open the bookcase. So check it out next time. See if when you watch it again, now that you know what's actually happening behind the scenes, if you could see the correlation of what is actually happening, that as soon as he hits the button, it's not that the door's open, there's probably a little delay there, and that is because those guys back there are trying their hardest to put that bookcase open, pull it open, and to make the scene work so that the boys can slide down the bat poles. Now, was this surprising to you? Was this simpler than you thought? Or are you thinking that there was this elaborate mechanism that when he hit that button, all these levers and pulleys and kind of this Rube Goldberg thing would be going on. I'd love to know your comments down below. I think this is awesome. And sometimes the simplest so solution is the correct one. And in this case, that was it. Thank you so much for your support. Enjoying this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. We'll see you all next time. And most importantly, don't forget to always be hopeful. A really big thank you to all my Diamond Tier Patrons, Jerry D, Stacy L, Scott R, Citizen Kane 359, Jennifer P, David D, Kevin K, Sally N, and Vito L. If you want to be on this list or receive exclusives as a great way to support the channel, visit my Patreon description below. Thank you.